Hello there, everybody, nobody, <laughs> whoever. Um, I feel it's time for a little chat, a little sort of just chilled chat. Um, I have got quite cross with my <laughs> subscribers, if you like, the few that I have, in because of the last couple of videos, like nobody's looked at them. Not even the introduction to time, times, and half a time. Um, I did give it some time, thinking people might put it on their watch later, you know. But not even to click on it. You know, so it got me a bit, you know, like, fuck this, fuck them. What the heck am I trying to do here? A bit frustrating. Anyway, uh, then something else came up. Um, I said it was David Icke who said that the coronavirus is targeted to Chinese DNA. But it wasn't. It was a channel called Eurosol. He had put up a video saying this. So, credit the right person. Um, and this, this, I think, is a real eye-opener. Um into both Trump and America and it kind of confirms quite a lot of things for me um, and it real feels you know it's like game on now Trump's shown his true colors he's not a savior um, he's a continuation of what America is the beast and it's Revelation 13:4. Uh, towards the end, who is like the beast, who can wage war against it? If this coronavirus is a viral weapon and they can target a specific gene type, so it only affects Chinese, for example, that, how can you, how can you fight against that? Obviously maybe the Chinese could, could develop their own that targets Americans but the Americans would be unlikely to have used something if it was so easily to be copied they would surely be quite confident that they couldn't just go out and make one of these up a bit like the nuclear bombs when they dropped nuclear bombs on Japan you know it wasn't like oh, if we use this, then they'll use theirs against us because they didn't have them and they knew that in order to make them. Because they'd done it, they knew what you needed to do to do it. You know, it's a difficult, long process. It's not... So they can kind of control it that way. Um, but that's what it made me think of, you know, using this as a... And it's... You know... And it's not Trump who's specifically bad because what Trump is doing he's just doing it openly he's not necessarily trying to hide pretty much what he's doing in fact I think he, you know he almost wants it, it, they've done it sort of so they haven't really tried to hide it that much I don't think that they want us to know to create this fear to create that feeling who can you know, who can go up against Trump if he can do that to a Chinese nation? You know, and, you know, maybe the threat would be, look, either play the game now or next time, you know, we can make it even more severe. We can wipe out your whole population all throughout the world. That's the sort of stage that we've got to. That's the sort of threat someone can make. Who can fight against that? So, that's what I'm saying, I'm saying we're here, the game is afoot. Now, you know, I don't fear for myself because I trust in God, and even if my physical body did die, um, you know, it's not the end of me, I don't feel that. So, I won't be afraid, and I recommend no one be afraid
So, you know, I've been doing quite a lot of stuff on YouTube lately, um, but it hasn't been getting that much attention. Now, I did my Revelation Decoded, and that final video, in a sense, it wasn't that great. I really pushed it around and told lots of people to watch it, and it got some views, you know. Fair enough. It's, the, it's more the concept more the concept rather than my finished work on um, putting it all together because you know that's not my expertise I'm just on my own basically so you know my videos aren't going to have that professional polished quality they're just not going to if I had a team working for me obviously I could create good content like that but I haven't it's just me so with me it's the the idea or the subject, that main core of it, which is the the key part of it. And, you know, try to understand what I'm trying to say and that that's the main thing that you'll get. Now, I believe what I'm doing lately in this latest work, the time, times and half a time, I really honestly believe that I'm uncovering lost knowledge just watched a Matt LeCroix video and they're talking about all this stuff, you know, these knowledge that that was had in the past that was lost, you know, that burned in the libraries of Alexandria and stuff like that. You know, this sort of stuff that was known, you know, what I'm uncovering with these cycles and these waves and stuff like that, that would have probably been known and it would have been part of this knowledge that's been taken. So what I'm saying is, wherever it's buried in the Vatican, and I'm sure, you know, America or whatever, they've got it. They have got it. They know this stuff. Which is why I often think they plan for something to happen when the 19-year wave is coming up. When the 19 year wave is over the scent. They don't want people to be all feeling good and partying and happy. They don't want them to be that happy. Because then they're not, they're not working. They want, they want us to be in drudgery and in fear and controllable. That's how they want us. So things like 9-11 was done 2001. I mean the other thing I thought was perhaps they... Pl because when these people do stuff it takes planning. So... When they think of the idea, it's three years later that it comes out. <coughs> but anyway, <clears throat> kind of getting off the subject there. Go back to the coronavirus. And, you know, this, this technology, this way of targeting a specific genome and as a weapon, a viral weapon, would have been being developed before Trump got in as president. So it would have been probably a threat they would use, but it would all be under, behind the doors and stuff and it wouldn't be coming out in public. They also, in this Matt LaCroix video, they also talked about how, you know, ISIS were destroying um, archaeological sites. And this is exactly what America, Vatican, in a sense, want to do. They want to destroy evidence for this past knowledge. And they said in the video, when Trump was threatening Iran, he threatened to bomb their memorial sites, their historical sites, or the, the, the cultural, cultural sites. 32 cultural sites will attack 32 cultural sites or something like that. So, <laughs> maybe, you don't know, you know, and these these are ancient sites sort of showing that, you know, people with Bronze Age tools at the time they were supposed to be made wouldn't have been able to make them. So it's all part of the, the keeping the, you know, the true mysteries that exist in the world that, are real, keeping those here helps us, helps us to remember that we're more than what they 
try and make out we are. So, I said this confirms some of the things I've done before and one of the main ones is uh, when back on my Faithful Philosopher video um, it would have been 2016 that's when Trump was doing his campaign in in about April or something I just got this feeling I had to make a video warn of a big earthquake in California and there was no earthquake but you know afterwards I saw that when I kept checking like what's going on in the news it was just all about Trump and he was in California but winning the votes of the black people and stuff like that which was a surprising thing so it was a it was a big thing you know it's help get Trump put into power as president you know so if that hadn't happened Trump wouldn't be there in president Trump wouldn't be so open about what's what they're doing and stuff like that and so sort of you know the way he is reactive you know so it, boom he's decided to launch this viral weapon and use it you know and not really try and hide it so it's going to be quite clear you fuck with America you can get <laughs> eliminated <clears throat> and it will just no one will know it will just be like oh someone caught a virus off a fish and then it spread I mean, it it is on. We are on. So, I think this is setting up the fifth trumpet um, in the next ten, how many years? So, 2033 will be the middle of the trumpet. That will be the main, something will happen in 2033. But really, any time after the wave starts going down, things will begin. And the, in the fifth trumpet, it's one of the longest ones. It's very specific. There is the 200 million man army, which can only be China. So if this is a warning shot to China, you know, they've taken it seriously. They've locked down their country. And it probably shows now if it... You know, it's killing a lot of Chinese people. It's it's not killed any one non-Chinese yet. So hopefully they're not. You know, they're not going to get a serious number of people die on this occasion. It'd be like the warning shot. And what are they going to do as a result of that? Well, they're going to prepare themselves. China is a is the oldest. You know their history is very very old they don't make rash decisions really and I think you know I've read like Wild Swans it was about three women growing up in China when they were first implementing the the new communist system and that was probably a harsh time but they're probably used to it now Okay, so they all got a number, they all got a hierarchy in their communist system, but, you know, so is India. And that's with the caste system. We don't um, criticise that too much. Um, but probably the main thing for them is that they can live a peaceful life and get on and stuff like that. So China's going to, you know, as a result of this, they're probably going to seclude themselves. They're probably going to be less internationalist. But they'll, they'll build up, you know, they'll prepare a defence. And that 200 million man army is most likely going to be Chinese. And in the fifth trumpet, the abyss is opened. Something falls from heaven. The abyss on earth is opened 
and these locusts fly out with women's hair and teeth and look like horses or something like that. Uh, very descriptive. Um, so that is possibly going to be a viral weapon, maybe, you know, but maybe a more serious one at this point. And because it says about it will bite people, not kill them, it will cause them torment for five months. Now we've heard from DNA medicine technology, uh, which is it, what they're using these modern vaccines, um, that sometimes, sometimes you know, the, the DNA effects last about six months. What was it? They were on about protecting? I can't remember. Um, but yeah, so that sounds like that will be one of these viral weapons going off. So it's kind of confirming that this is this is happening. And I've had lots of confirmations that we're on an up wave, like 19 year up. Just every few days there's you know I'm doing something and there's just a lovely smell and a nice feeling a sort of a good optimistic feeling that we're heading sort of for some nice times and we are and I you know and this this is why I think a lot of these things will go under the radar a bit you know um, and we'll go through 2024 and and we'll start to be on the down wave, but we'll still be up a bit. So, but by 20, the late 2020s is when we're going to be heading back down into these harder times, into these more challenging times. Yeah. So you could see the high points as rest times and then <laughs> challenge times, work times. See it like that. Yeah. I've also had, I also feel I'm getting more into um, understanding the, the previous lives aspect. Um, and I'm beginning to get sort of dreams where I'm seeing people that I know and, and who they were in a previous life, Poss you know, possibly sort of thing. Um, <clears throat> and I've asked my brothers, I've said, do you want me to figure out who you might have been in a previous life? And they said yes. So I think, you know, permission, you know, because someone, I won't just tell someone, you know, permission is required, I think. Um, yeah. So I'm going to be continuing with the uh, time, times and half a time work. It's like work. I'm looking. I've been, you know, looking over the period 1300, 1400, and um, I tell you what, Edward the Third. He's like the forgotten king, the hidden king. And he's a more like King Arthur than anybody, and um, but there's there's very you can't there doesn't seem to be a very good documentary on him film on him. I mean, it just sets out the facts, doesn't really go much into the story. But there's lots of story just before, and there's lots of story just afterwards. But this bit seems to be missing, and it's like. It's like the amazing bit, the awesome bit, and it's missing. It's weird. But yeah, I'm starting to think that that was my, that was me. My re-entry into the world after a gap. 
that's my as a little hypothesis that's at the moment I haven't had any major confirmation only a slight confirmation in a dream I had last night and that Isabella was my mother and who and that I know who Isabella is <laughs> I've met her, she's here you know she's here now it's just a person I know But, you know, that is speculative. I'm not, I haven't had confirmation of that, but that's, if I feel like I've had this bit of stagnation point of like a block, like I can't see that time, um, this is starting to open a crack to allow me to begin to see something. So I want to push that crack open a bit and have a look. Um... What was I going to say? Yeah, the King Arthur thing. So, I mean, I've said on videos before about that I've looked into the, uh, you know, St. Francis um, not dying when he was supposed to have died, but continued and came to England, helped invent the English language was the John Whitecliffe, John Wycliffe, and was the, a Merlin character, a Merlin type character. Now, if the Merlin character had been around before, fine. But, it was just, you know, maybe a character gets attributed to someone or whatever it's, but, that he was that, and then, he was, um, he had, he had an Arthur. He spotted out, he found Arthur. He knew who Arthur was going to be. And Arthur was going to be like, alright, I'll go even back further to where I've said like, I'm, I was the seventh Christ. And that Yeshua, Ben Joseph, was the fifth Christ. David was the fourth, Abraham was the third, Noah and Krishna the second, and Adam the first. And, right? So the sixth Christ, St. Francis, becomes Merlin, looks for his Arthur. So Arthur is the next Christ, who's like, so in the beginning of the, when the, when the Christ is first the Christ, is still learning, is a student, if you like, and improving until the, 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 the main life that he has when he's going to do his main thing. So for Yeshua ben Joseph, um, that, you know, he did his main thing in zero, BC, and then the sixth Christ, who was Saint Francis, um, had other lives before. He may have been Antipas, um, right? And then he has his main life as Saint Francis, or maybe he did die and reincarnate, and he did some other thing. I don't know. And then. Then the next Christ, and then there'll be another one, and another one, and another one, and we'll all get, we'll all get a go, <laughs> probably. I don't know. Sounds a bit wacky, but you know these are the sort of things that I think to try and make sense of the things that I've experienced, and um, yeah. This is what makes most sense to me, right? I'm the one who has to live with it. Um, so, yeah. So, I wonder what defence there is towards a viral weapon. Maybe smoking. <coughs> Why? Because 
there's toxins in the tobacco and you breathe them into your lungs and what do toxins do? They kill stuff so if there's living viruses in your lungs it may well kill the viruses maybe that wood smoke um, kept us free of viruses when we breathed in the wood smoke uh, and then when we went into houses and had a chimney we weren't benefiting from that wood smoke anymore and that's when plague was able to make uh, a lot of killings <laughs> wacky 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 It doesn't tell me how long it's been going on. Um, no. So I used to try and entertain a bit. Well, quite a lot actually. But I stopped doing that because I realised it's, you know, it's, it's me sort of I'm sort of giving my happiness away or to to pleasure you it's it's sort of a bit weird and I feel sorry for stand up comics and stuff like that because you know no matter how you're feeling you've got to go out there and to make people laugh you've got to You've got to be put in, you've got to have that energy. You've got to be that raised, energetic person. And it's, and it's what I think, you know, this woman who's committed suicide from Love Island, it's that pressure to have to put on that much energy and act like you're doing that well. And then to go away every day time you've finished and just you know understand that you know you're not that you don't feel like that and it's just I just think yeah it just could really really make you down so <clears throat> I'm not really into the entertaining but I might just do a song Music's good, isn't it? Alright, it might, this might be a bit bad. So I'm warning you. Yeah. <coughs> <coughs> what a dream I had Wrapped in burgundy in cinnamon faster than the rain I held your hand and when you ran to me your cheeks flashed with the night we walked through frosted fields of juniper and lamplight. I love you, girl. Oh, I love you.
Yeah. That'll do. Okay, bye.